Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. You'll notice I'm in a bit of a different setting. I've had a little setback with a old back injury that has kind of uh, laid me up in a recliner for the last few days, hoping to be back on my feet soon. But I didn't want to stop making any videos and I had a very important video I wanted to make here. And we'll start here. We're going to go over to just a screenshot just because once I end up over showing you the screenshot, I'm going to be in a different setup in a different chair. It's not going to be very uh, cohesive to having a camera on me, but we'll still get the points across. So I did a video a while back concerning the global input trim on Tonex pedal. And that video has caused a lot of controversy. A lot of people uh, think that I am incorrect in the things that I've said about it. I can't really talk much more about that right now. There is going to be more information coming out about that in the very near future. I'm not at liberty to speak about it at the moment but I think it'll all come clear very soon. The thing is, I have had literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people contact me and tell me that that saved them from returning their Tonex pedal and it just made Tonex sound so much better for them. So that's wonderful and I'm really happy it did that. But it brings up another issue. Some folks watching my videos are making comments and actually I've been called out pretty brutally and in a very rude manner by a lot of people. A lot of people have argued vehemently with me based off of one thing they see in my videos, and that is they're telling me that when they see the screenshot of my Tonex software, they're looking at the meter for the input level of the Tonex software. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but I ignore that input meter because it's really not giving us any information. At the levels I'm set at, which I've already explained why I'm set there in my global input trim video, and I'll link to that below if anybody hasn't seen it, I've already explained why I have my input level set on my audio interface the way that I do. The simple reason is that it's accurately reflecting the output of that guitar, and I've tested this, and I've calibrated my system to know this, especially in relation to creating Tonex tone models. I always record myself plugged straight into the rig that I am modeling so that I know what I'm after, what I'm trying to capture. Now, obviously, if we hit that with more level, then it's going to break up and distort more. That's obvious. We all know that. But I don't want to be adding a clean boost to every guitar. If I want a guitar to hit the front of that amplifier harder, I'm going to choose a guitar with higher output pickups that are, is going to naturally hit that. And if that's not what I want, then that's not the guitar I should be using. So I've calibrated my system. My guitars are being recorded DI into my DAW for reamping later so that they're accurately representing what it's like for me to plug straight into that amplifier. It's quite interesting because I've seen comments about myself because of that video where somebody actually compared me to a flat earther. I've been called names. It's really kind of bizarre some of the things that people say, especially when they don't actually watch the whole video I do and go through and see how I proved my points in those videos. But anyways, there's no changing some people. They're just going to live their life in that ignorant state, and it's unfortunate. But today I'm going to show you something that's going to basically show you why this whole idea of my little input meter and Tonex not really meaning anything. And I hope that this finally puts this to rest because it is getting a little bit ridiculous. But like I said, there's going to be more info coming out about this in the near future, and I will be shooting a video once I'm able to talk about these details. All right, so for now, let's head over to the computer. I'm going to be in Cubase with both Tonex and Amplitube 5 and our Tonex meters. All right, let's head over there. All right, so here I am over in Cubase. So in the interest of full disclosure, I want you to know my whole setup here today. There's no trickery going on. I'm using my Line 6 HX Stomp as an audio interface, and that is set to instrument input, and that's how my Gibson SG guitar that I'm playing today is plugged directly into it. And I'm feeding Cubase with the Mono In 5, so the USB 5 coming out of the Line 6 Stomp. Now that is basically, if anybody who is familiar with using the Stomp, that is just the dry guitar DI unprocessed coming straight out of the HX Stomp as an audio interface. So that's basically the signal that's going to be hitting the front of whether we're using Tonex, Amplitude 5, Helix Native, or any other software. Now, I haven't added any gain to this. This is how I would use it. And this is the thing. Some people tell me that is far too low an input level. I've already talked about why that's not true. I don't know why people feel the need to crank their guitar instrument level input up to the point where it's peaking at minus three, minus four, minus five and even endangering getting close to the clipping level. It's just silly and shouldn't be done that way, as I mentioned in my global input trim video, which again will be linked below. So I'm using that signal here. Let's just take a look at this. That is going to be this signal right here. So if I just strum some chords on my guitar,
you'll see that right here is what my peak level ends up being. And I'm hitting pretty hard there and I never peak above minus 10.6. That's the perfect range. You'll notice here, I'm usually hovering somewhere in this level here between minus 12 and maybe minus 24. depending on what I'm playing. I know you can't really hear me. I'm in a very makeshift setup here today, but that is what's happening as I'm hitting the guitar. So you see it's a moderate level as an instrument level should be. So here's the problem now. When I open up an instance of Tonex, feeding it with that signal there, what you will notice is down here on the input meter, and this is what everybody's criticizing me about is this very little signal shows up when I'm playing the same level. Now, that could be cause for concern. The only problem is that this isn't actually telling us anything. If anybody could tell me what this is referencing, I would love to hear it. There's no DBFS meter, there's no numeric system to mark a number as to what level we've reached. We don't even know what part of the full scale range this is even referring to. So we just see a little blip and everybody's telling me, you need to turn your input level up. Look, you almost have no signal. Well, really, well, let's do this then. Let's go compare that to how Amplitude 5 looks doing the same thing. So another piece of IK Multimedia software, here's Amplitude 5. Watch the input level here. It's the exact same thing I was just showing you feeding into Tonex. And you'll notice I have the default set to the zero setting on both of these. There's no trickery going on here. I'm not trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. I'm trying to show folks exactly how they should be using this. Again, right over here, zero. Right, so if we can open both of these up together, and I'm working on a laptop here, so I am a little bit more confined compared to what I would normally use here. So bear with me. Let's get both of these, Amplitube, open, and Tonex, and we'll look at these input meters as I hit the same thing. Now, everybody's telling me that Tonex needs to be turned up. Well, if I turn it up to sort of match visually what Amplitude is doing, I need to boost this up by, now I'm close to clipping, it's not gonna be good, and I'm altering the way my tone model sounds in a really awful way. Not like this guitar should sound. Now, if I was to turn Amplitude up by that same 10.5, you'll notice now I'm pushing right up there just like I am in Tonex, but these two meters are not really exactly calibrated the same, are they? So if I come back down to the zero point, You'll notice Amplitude 5 gives the impression that everything is okay, but Tonex gives the impression that everything is wrong and not working properly. And this is what people are basing their advice to me, and I put advice in air quotes, uh, that I need to turn up my input level. No, I don't. I've already calibrated my system. I know precisely where my input level should be, and I'm not gonna listen to a meter that doesn't actually give me any sort of DBFS, DB full scale reading, which is what we are using in the digital domain within Cubase or whatever software we're using. Now, what would the proper way be to judge this? Well, it would be by utilizing this meter right here. This is my input level meter. Now, you'll see. This is now giving me exactly where I'm at. I'm peaking at around minus 11.2. If I really slam things, I get up to minus 10.4. But normal playing. I'm quite low and it's perfect. It's allowing the guitar modeling software I'm plugged into to react the way my guitar is supposed to be set. So I really needed to set the record straight there because I've been getting called out, been getting called names, people are getting kind of nasty about this, and this is ridiculous because this meter here tells us absolutely nothing. I'm glad we have meters in here, but I've already talked to my contacts over at IK Multimedia, and I do talk to them on a regular basis. A lot of people don't seem to realize this. I am in discussions with them about a lot of things. 
and I'm making suggestions how to improve things, hopefully for the better, and one of the things I have asked is if they could put a proper DBFS meter in Tonex so we can actually see what levels we're talking about here in relation to our DAW software and any other software that we might be using. And that way, that would get rid of any problems with people thinking that this is too low an input. Because obviously, this here does not look like I'm peaking up around minus 10. It looks like I'm way down at minus 50 or minus 40. So yes, people would think you need to boost it, but you don't. You can't just go by some input meter that doesn't give us a proper reading that we could compare to another meter. So I hope that that helps clear this up so that this ridiculousness can stop because it really is to the point of being absolutely ridiculous because the only argument I've heard people tell me and why I should turn my input level up is because the meter doesn't seem to be moving enough inside of Tonex software, which is absolutely absurd as I've shown today. And I hope that that finally clears up. And I hope people watching this video actually watch the video and listen to what I'm saying, not just skip through it and then think that they know what I was saying because it's getting very frustrating having to explain the same thing 50 times over again. Alrighty, so there you have it. I hope I hope that that was useful and I hope that that does set the record straight in a way that people can stop arguing about this. It's a very silly conversation to be having, but it's necessary because people do not seem to understand what is actually happening here. We cannot rely on a meter that doesn't have some reference to what we're actually seeing on that meter. So I hope that that helps clear that up. All right, so I'm gonna leave you with that. I hope that that was helpful. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching and also please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon. Today I'm gonna to leave you though with a demo of one of my favorite Tonex tone models that I've made. And that is from my Fried Taco Ultimate Bundle, which is a set of tone models that is based off the incredible Friedman Pink Taco version two. I hope you enjoy this. The link is below if you like it. There is a free preset on ToneNet that's from this bundle. And if you wanna grab the whole bundle and help support my channel, that's available at a link below at my website. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I'll be back very soon with some more. Ciao for now. Thank you.